Students at a North County elementary school got themselves into a pretty sticky situation today. They tried to beat an unofficial record for the longest peanut butter and jelly sandwich. CBS 8's Abby Alford went to the gooey competition in Escondido to see how they stacked up. You thought March Madness was competitive? We were at the meanest competition happening here at Heritage Elementary School in Escondido, where they are building the longest PB&J sandwich. With their game faces on, these elementary students and their coach are not messing around when it comes to making the unofficial longest peanut butter and jelly sandwich in U.S. school history. Look at me, guys. Put the jelly on this one, peanut butter on this one. Even Heritage Elementary charter teachers have their spreaders in the game. Spread, spread, spread. The crowd goes wild for peanut butter and jelly. Everyone is lined up and ready to spread 62-foot-long gluten-free loaves of bread, dip their spreaders in 34 coats of Jelly Bear jelly and 100 pounds of peanut butter. Their goal is to beat a school in Denver who built a 107-foot PB&J sandwich. Unofficial, but as long as you have competition, it doesn't have to be. I don't need somebody to validate it for me. I validated myself. While it was a team effort, teachers and students were competitive. It was also kind of nerve-wracking because you try to beat the teachers over there, and they're pretty fast. Yeah, fast they are. Most of them are faster than the kids. In 2014, when Lavora Cardenudo was a junior just across the street at Escondido Charter High, they teamed up with the elementary school to break the record then and build a 50-foot PB&J sandwich. And now to come back as a staff member and exceed that, not even double it, triple it, has been really fun. With one loaf to go, you yeah, flip it, flip it. They finished. Yeah, three minutes and 27 seconds. The school broke the record. What? A 113-foot PB&J sandwich built in just under four minutes. Wow. This fourth grader said she didn't let the pressure get to her. It was actually really fun than I thought it would be. Because I thought we would like have to like do it in a hurry kind of, but it was like really good. Watch out, mom and dad. Now I can make it for my own lunch. Like I'm a master. All those times you've made PB&J now, you can get it done in a jiff. We can make our lunch now. Yeah, every time. So they don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah. So the Heritage Elementary kids unofficially broke the record for the longest PB&J sandwich, but <laughs> looks like I may have had one too many.